Hey all, Arjun from wizards.exe here. In this video, we're going to go over if-else statements. And what is an if-else statement? An if-else statement allows you to do different things based off of a certain thing. For example, a gamepad button, or if a value is greater than a number, or anything like that, you can do something, otherwise you can do another thing. So it's if this, then do this, otherwise do that. And so I'm going to start a blocks program, and I've created, um, and I'm going to create, name it if else test. And so I have a servo configured called servo. So if you want to learn a little bit more about servo programming, watch our Angular servo programming video. But um, I'm going to be using some of the stuff from that video in this video. Also watch the gamepad input and telemetry video if you are wanting to learn more about that because I might use some of that in this video. So, first things first, where do you find an if else statement? So you find it in the logic section. You can see that the logic has a bunch of if else these three if else statements and then a few other things. We'll go over these things down here in another video. So, what I want this program to do is I want it to do, um, program a servo so that if, like, A is pressed, then it'll set the servo to 1. If B is pressed, then it will set the servo to 0. Otherwise, it will set the servo to 0 0.5. And so how do we do this? So I'm just going to drag the most basic if statement. And... One thing you can see is that these can be changed easily. So if I click that little gear up there, which is like a setting icon, I have an if. Right now I have an if. Now I want an else if, so that it's if that button is pre A is pressed, then it sets it to 1. Else if the B is pressed, then it sets it to 0. And then I have a final else if none of those conditions is true. I'm going to press that gear button again to hide this. But you can actually customize your if else statements a lot using that little menu down there. Next, I'm going to get my blocks from the gamepad. So I have gamepad.a and gamepad.b. So now I have if gamepad.a, meaning if gamepad.a is pressed, as gamepad.a is a Boolean value, meaning it's either true or false. So if it's pressed, then do something, so that something, I'm going to set the servo position to 1. Else, if gamepad.b is pressed, then I'm going to set the servo position to 0. But else, if none of those conditions are true, I'm going to set this to 0 0.5. So you can see that that's a very simple program to chest um, a button, but there are many different uses for this. For example, I could use this to control a motor. I could use this for continuous rotation servos. I could use this for um, choosing where I want um, some an arm to be. There are so many applications of if else statements. So. With that, I'm going to save the op mode and I'm going to show you testing it. Now, I'm, I've already initialized the gamepad by hitting start and A. I'm going to select the drop down and select if else test. I'm going to initialize and hit play. Now you can see that right now, the servo is at its 0.5 position as I've programmed it. If you want to learn how to do that, you watch our video on how to use the servo programmer. When I hit A, which is the green button, it moves to, to 1. When I release it, it goes back to 0.5. When I hit B, it goes to 1, to, goes, it goes to 0. When I release it, it goes back to 0.5. So it's very simple to do, and it's very e simple to use if-else statements, but it's also very useful. Thank you for watching this video. Please like and subscribe and email wizards.exe at gmail.com with any questions. Thank you.